2012 did not go quietly in Spokane, and 2013 began with violence as well. Good evening. I'm Colleen O'Brien. Mike and Nadine are off tonight. Things got violent before the clock struck midnight, and Spokane police were ready. We have a lot of extra people out here on New Year's Eve. We have gang enforcement teams and tactical teams and a lot of other. We have, we have the helicopter in the air. So when something like this happens on a holiday like this, we're able to direct a lot of resources in a very short period of time. Those resources were all important last night with two shootings in the city separated by a matter of hours. Early this morning, someone opened fire on a house in the 4200 block of North Jefferson. A woman was shot several times and the gunman is still on the loose. A few hours before, a man fired shots inside the neighborhood grocery store in the 3400 block of East Euclid. We go live there now to KXY 4 z and Cole. And calling the police say that the call came in around 10 o'clock last night that people had been shot inside the neighborhood grocery store and that the gunman had fled the scene. Now, within a minute, officers responded and they found inside the store one victim dead and a second suffering from multiple gunshot wounds. Immediately, police started searching for the gunman and during that search, they found a crashed car near the intersection of Thor and Carlisle. The Air One helicopter was launched then to assist in the search for the suspect. And shortly after, pilots spotted the gunman hiding along the river under the Green Street Bridge. The helicopter directed officers to the scene and they arrested 33 year old Shannon Johnson. Detectives continue to look for the weapon used in the murder today and are asking for your help. The officers all know this house. He told me when they when they were talking to me last night at three, they says, oh, yeah, we know this house for all the drugs and and uh, some he call it gang related stuff, too. And yeah, we we'll hope so. We're all standing here hoping something happens. Now, Johnson is booked on charges of second degree murder and first degree assault. The one victim that survived the shooting was taken to the hospital where he's being treated for his injuries. Police are reporting that he is in critical condition and officers will be looking at surveillance video to see what led up to the shooting inside the store and the names of the victims have not been released. Reporting live in East Spokane, Ian Cole, KXY4 HD News.